We're here in Death Valley where Clemson's just defeated UNC 31 to 20 on senior day to earn their second ranked win of the month. Clemson's defense was dominant, stifling UNC quarterback Drake May, the number two consensus quarterback prospect in the 2024 draft class. Nate Wiggins, a big part of Clemson's defensive effort. He forced two turnovers, had one forced fumble in the first quarter, and then sealed the game with an interception late. Wiggins performed in front of scouts from seven NFL teams and felt like he showcased his coverability. But while he did enjoy success, he said he felt like it wasn't his best game. I don't feel like it was my best game because I allowed like three catches. But uh, I feel like it was a good game. Though. I definitely can do better, though. What did you do better? Stop, stop line of catches. <laughs> Clemson third-year running back Will Shipley ran down the hill with the seniors and went out with a bang in what might have been the last home game of his Clemson career. He finished with over 115 yards and one touchdown. His future is up in the air. As he mentioned, he's considering a move, but did not specify whether it was transfer or the NFL draft. Yeah, um, you know, I, I wish I could tell you an answer. Um, I, I really haven't put enough thought into it. Uh, like I said, I've, I've been trying to give my all to, to this university, um, you know, but, but looking forward, we got to beat South Carolina, you know, you know see, see what bowl we get into, and then, uh, and then kind of think a little bit more about it, talk with my family, and, and just move forward. Clemson faced scoring struggles and adversity earlier in the season, but feels like they've turned a corner. As, as Coach Sweeney says, and I, I don't even know if this is a term, but like the, the, the worm is turning, right? Have any of y'all ever heard that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I have other than from him, but um, you know, the, the worm is finally turning, right? I mean, uh, things are rolling our way. In the month of November, they're undefeated in three games, have scored 30 or more points, and feel like they're peaking at the right time and they'll have to be heading into a rivalry matchup against South Carolina next week on the road in Columbia trying to reclaim the Palmetto Trophy. I'm Luke Winstall for Winstall Media.